I want to first start off by giving infinite glory, honor, power, might, wisdom, and thanksgiving unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harukakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds, preaching and delivering this truth to the best of their ability, in sincerity and in charity. Shalom to you, Akim, and shalom to you, few Akwa. What I want to speak about today is conviction. I want to speak about having conviction in the way in which you go about approaching and living your daily life when it comes to being in this ministry, when it comes to knowing what you're involved in when you come to serve Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, in the manner in which you should walk, in the manner in which you should talk, in the manner in which you should hold yourself to a higher standard and be accountable for the way in which you live this life because you're not living it for yourself. We're not living it for ourselves. We're living it for Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai be the glory in all that we say, in all that we do, in the way in which we carry ourselves in our daily walk amongst the heathen, amongst the two-third, and amongst the wicked. We are to show ourselves better than those people because that's what we are. We are sovereign, which means we are supreme rulers. We are Yashir Allah. Yah meaning he, Shah meaning prince, Allah meaning power of God. We are princes of power or God, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And we are held at a higher standard. We are better than these people out here. And that's how we should conduct ourselves. And that's why you should look at everything that has befallen us and stick by your guns especially in the latter days when all hell is breaking loose. Knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is on his way back to save us, to deliver us from these evils. And so there's no time to cower in a corner, curl up in a ball and tremble and shake and say, I don't know what to do. Because scripture tells us that we know what to do. Scriptures comfort us and lead us in the paths of righteousness for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's sake. So once again, I say my lesson deals with conviction. And I want to first start off with the book of Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter and the second verse. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make no haste in time of trouble. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. And the way in which we set our heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble is to lean not into our own understanding, is to Look for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to lead, guide, and direct us in our everyday walk of life. It's to seek the kingdom first, and then all things will be added unto us. In verse 3, it says, Cleave unto him. Who is him? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Who is him? Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who comes in the volume of the book. The volume of the book is the Bible. The Bible is where you find your comfort. You find your comfort through these scriptures. King David says, through, through, your, through your precepts, I get understanding. That understanding will lead you to, to well-being. That, well, that, that, that understanding will lead you to life and life more abundantly. That's right. Through these scriptures, by being patient and by reading daily, seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai while he may be found. Drawing nigh unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in hopes that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will draw nigh unto you. Ecclesiastes 2nd chapter and 3rd verse says, 
cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. We're in the last days right now, Akim and you few Akwaf. We're in the last days. We are to cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. With JT on the rise, right around the horizon, right on the horizon. With the MOTB right around the corner. That, that, that one chip challenge waiting for you. It's gonna behoove you, Akim and you, Akwaf, to be rooted and grounded in this ministry. It's gonna behoove you to be on edge, watching, like you're watching a movie, and it's suspenseful, and you thought you were sitting back on the couch, you thought you was leaning back eating the popcorn, but lo and behold, you sitting on the edge of your seat, biting your nails, that's how you to be right now. Ever watching, ever listening, always learning. Be not ignorant of a small, be not ignorant of a matter, small or great. Looking for the prophecies to unfold because that's what they're doing. They're unfolding at a rapid rate right before your very eyes. And you don't want to be caught unawares. So it says, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. And that word cleave goes into continue to believe, to be loyal to. Who are you being loyal to? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, meaning he exists. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, means he delivers or he saves. You want Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach to save you. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call her law Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's what you're looking for, a fall off. The things not seen, because the things that are seen are temporal. But the things that are not seen, those are the things which you look for. Those are the things which you have faith in. Those are the things which you are to hope in. With all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with every fiber of your being. With man, things are impossible. But with Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, everything is possible. And you don't want to be here in the last days and not have that hope and not have that faith and not have that belief because you refuse to hearken unto the word of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, brought to you by the prophets. Started with Elder Apostle Tahar first and foremost, all the way down to the least of us here at Great Millstone, who have 100% truth. Not 99.9, 100% truth. The word conviction is similar to the word cleave. Conviction says a firmly held belief or opinion. You believe that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is coming to save you. You believe that you are indebted to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Akim and you few Akwaf indebted. That means you did the wrong thing. Not Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We did. We didn't listen. We went off and served other gods, false idols, made of wood, made of stone, made of sticks, made of covered with silver and gold, burning incense unto them. Telling Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai who wakes us up every morning, allowing us to see another day, blessing us with the gift of the present that we didn't need him, that we wanted to do our own thing. And look where it got us. In captivity after captivity after captivity after captivity after captivity after captivity. Misery beyond misery beyond misery beyond misery beyond misery. And we're still here to this day. And that's because we chose to do such and not listen to our father. And so he had to chastise us. But he still loves us, Aki, and you few Akwa. I'm here to let you know that today. Otherwise, the prophets wouldn't be here telling you so. Otherwise, the prophets wouldn't be here wasting their, <laughs> wasting their, wait, otherwise they wouldn't be here 
They're not wasting their breath. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here telling you so. Letting you know what, what it is that Yahweh Yahweh Shai is expecting of you to do. Because that's how much he loves us. That's how much mercy and how much grace he continues to extend to us. And so these are the things that you ought to think about when it comes to how Yahweh Shai Hamashai loves us and how he's never left us for, or forsaken us. And these are the things that you should have conviction about. Because the wicked continues to whip our ass on a daily basis, even right now, as I speak. We are being held down. We are being oppressed. We are being stricken with all sorts of diseases, all sorts of calamities continue to befall us, continue to be being killed raped, robbed, and plundered on a daily basis. And so these are the convictions that you should have inside, knowing that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is here to save you. Knowing that he will perform a great work, a glorious work. From there, I want to go to 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Second Corinthians 13 and 5 says, Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shahamashach is in you, except ye be reprobates. That's correct. Yahweh Shahamashach is within us. But you have to have conviction, Akim, and you few Akwath. You have to know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt. And the only way to know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt is to examine yourself. And that word examine goes into inspect in detail to investigate thoroughly. You have to continually put yourself under a microscope. Just like the wicked do on a daily basis, they put us, Akim, the house of Yashirala, the tabernacle of David under a microscope, under a fine tooth comb, and figure out our likes and our dislikes, know our strength and know our weaknesses. That is what you are do, that is what you are to do to yourself. Examine yourself from head to toe, all at the bottom of your soles or your feet. You are to examine yourself. Every speck, every line, every dot, every scratch any and everything that can be examined, you ought to investigate it thoroughly. Like the IRS investigate you. Like the FBI investigate you. Like the CIA investigate you. Like your local police force investigate you. Harass you. You ought to harass yourself. Arrest yourself. Lock yourself up. That's how you examine yourself. Thoroughly. That word thoroughly is performed or written with great care or completeness. And an example of completeness and great care is the people in Berea. That's located in Acts the 17th chapter and the 11th verse. And it says, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. They were more noble than those in Thessalonica. A little background. Thessalonica was something like uh, 50 miles from Berea, west southwest. This is where Paul journeyed from Thessalonica to, to, to Berea. It's a three-day journey. And that word Berea, it means heavy and weighty. And Paul brought heavy and weighty manners to Berea. But they didn't shy away from those heavy or weighty manners. Why? Because they had conviction. They knew what was going on. They knew the condition of the battle. And they were fully persuaded. And so... That word noble-minded is having or characteristic of 
of an honorable, upright, and supreme mind. And that word upright goes into a strict regard for what is morally right. They wanted to do the right thing. That's why they searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so, to see whether those things were right. Because they, they had a moral obligation within themselves because of being superior minded, as I spoke of in the beginning of the message. Because they understand that we are sovereign people. We are supreme rulers. And that is what is to take place. Supr supreme <clears throat> supreme minded is knowing one is better than others. And that's what we are. And how do we know that we're better than others? Because the scriptures tell us so. What do the scriptures tell us, Akim and Yufu Akwath? Well, let's look at what it says in Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. They were written aforetime. And so what we must have, what we must have is patience. We through patience and comfort of the scriptures. And how do you get that comfort from the scriptures, Akim? The way in which you get the comfort from the scriptures, it says it's right here in Revelations, the third chapter. Salakia, Revelations, the first chapter. Revelations, the first chapter and the third verse. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. That time is right now, Akim and Yufu Akwaf. It's right here and it's right now. And it's being pushed in your face. And it's being pushed in your face more and more as the days progress. Abarathazah, we are of that number. Abarathazah, those days are being shortened. So that we can go home, Akim and Yufu Akwa. So that we can get away from this world, which is turned upside down. Which they say right is wrong. Which they say left is right. Everything is opposite here. We are better than these people. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai wouldn't have said it if it wasn't so. As I wrote, as I read earlier in Romans 15 and 4, things that were written aforetime time were written for our learning. It says so in Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, in the sixth verse, that we're better than these people. It says, keep therefore and do them. What is what are we to keep? The laws, the statutes, and the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, Deuteronomy 4 and 6, keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. This great nation is sovereign. We are supreme rulers. We are Yashur Allah, princes of God, princes of power. That's how it goes. That's how Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh I intended it to be. We are the head and not the tail. From there, I want to go to 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Run that ye may obtain. I can make you few aqua. That means late nights up studying. That means late nights up reading. That means putting off the mortal man being spiritual sticking by your guns staying anchored staying rooted and grounded in this ministry reading studying to show thyself approved once again 
1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. This is ex exhortation. This is edification. This is comfort. This is a commandment. Run that ye may obtain. This is pushing you forward to do what you need to do. For you to stick by your guns, you have a moral obligation. We're not like these people, Akim, and you few Akwaf. We're different. We're cut from a different cloth. From now I'm going to Matthew's seventh chapter in the seventh verse. It says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Fall down on your knees, I and you few Akwaf. Pray. And pray without ceasing. And ask you how by Shem Shai. With faith, fully assured, knowing that what you ask, he will give. Seek. And ye shall find. Knock and it sh and shall be opened unto you. That word shall means it will happen. It's going to happen. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is not a human that he should lie. Test Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and see if he won't do exactly what he said he'll do. Matthew 7, chapter 7, verse also goes with Matthew the 6th chapter and the 8th verse. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah already know what dire straits we in. He already knows what we have need of. He knows that we got late bills and they need to be paid. He know the light's about to get cut off. He know the water about to get cut off. He know they badly got food in your refrigerator. He know you working from paycheck to paycheck. He know you need gas in your vehicle to make it to work. Guess what? You still ought to get down on your knees and pray without ceasing unto your howl by Hashem Yahushua. Leaning not unto your own understanding and let him have his perfect work within you be wrought because of your belief. And the way by which you are believing brings him all the glory and all the honor, which is what we ultimately want. With man, things are impossible, but with the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, everything is possible. We're tired of going to the wicked for the, for the one of all things. It's time to wisen up. It's time to look to our Father and let Him lead us and guide us in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Allow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to continue to prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. He's never left us or forsaken us. I want to look at Romans, the 12th chapter and the third verse. It says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according to Yahweh have dealt to every man the measure of faith. And you use that measure of faith, Akim. And if you feel like that measure of faith is insufficient, you go into Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and you ask Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for more faith. And you continue to get down on your knees and ask for what you need. In prayer, in all supplication and prayer, asking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, going boldly before the gates and asking our Father for the things that you have need of. But you got to believe, Akim. You have to. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You got to have faith. You got to believe. An example of the belief and the faith that must be exhibited and is needed is Enoch. Hebrews 11 and 5 says, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because Yahweh had translated him. For before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased Yahweh. And the way in which he pleased Yahweh, 
is with faith. And it says once again in Hebrews 11 and 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I can mean if you agua, you have to know without knowing, without a shadow of a doubt. You have to press toward our, this higher calling. You can't look back. You can't look to your side. You have to look straight forward. And as they say here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you got to go with your move. Fuck everything else. Fuck anybody else. You got to do what you need to do. And what you need to do is be well pleasing unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by following his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. Fully persuaded. This Romans 14 and 5. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Like every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Salakia, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Persuaded means through reasoning. What reason do you have to be here, Akim, and you few Akwa? What is your reason? You just want to hang out? You think this is a Hebrew hangout? Where you can eat barbecue chicken? And drink? You think you can tell a few jokes? Let a couple, few brothers give you a few dollars? You feel like you ain't got nothing better to do? Well, this ain't for you. The word persuade, once again, is through reasoning. Reasoning of you know you're indebted to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah because of the wrong that you've done, first and foremost. And you also have to be assured. And that definition of assured is to make certain to happen, to tell someone something positively or confidently to dispel any doubts that they may have. And that's why the prophets are here, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar all the way down to the least of us here at Great Millstone, to dispel any doubts that they may have. Who is they? Those are the hopeful elect. Those are who we're bidding into the marriage. Those are who we're calling. Those are who we're looking to attract. No one else, because this ain't for everyone. It's not for everyone. From there, I'm going to Proverbs 21 and five. Proverbs 21 and five says, the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness but of everyone that is hasty only to one. You have to be diligent in this thing, Akim and Yufu Akwaf. You can't waver. You have to be fully persuaded, fully assured. You have to examine yourself on a daily basis and you have to cleave unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh so that you could obtain this plenteousness. This plenteousness is this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding of the truth which comes from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. From there, I want to go to Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach, back to the second chapter, but we're going to go down to the 10th verse. It says, Look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? There are plenty of examples in the Bible. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, not one did he let down. Not one did he leave or forsake. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not a man that he should lie. Put your trust into him, Akim. Put your faith into him, all your hope. I understand you can't see him, but you don't need to see him. You need to hope and you need to pray. And daily, do this daily and do it without ceasing. Draw nigh unto him so that he can draw nigh unto you. From there, I want to go to Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And this is the way in which you stay fully persuaded. This is the way in which you are assured. This is the way in which you cleave unto the body. This is the way you, you hold firm to your belief. This is the way you inspect yourself in detail and investigate yourself thoroughly. 
This is the way you take great care and you do it with thoroughness and with completeness. James 4 chapter and 10 verse tells us that we are to humble ourselves in the sight of Yahweh and he shall lift us up. Humbling yourself. The way in which we humble ourselves is through conviction, knowing that we went off and did the wrong thing. It's through conviction <clears throat> that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is calling us back because we are his people, because he loved us and never left us nor forsaken us. And so we are to humble ourselves through examination of the way in which we walk and the way in which we talk on a daily basis. We are to judge ourselves and see whether or not we are to be in this ministry. What goes along with James 4 and 10 is James 5 and 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. No one's perfect, Akim and Yifu Akwaf. We are not without sin. Yahweh by Shem Yahushua came to save the sinners. He said, those who, those who are sick are in need of, of a physician. That's who he came for, and we are sick. And he's come for us, Akim and Yifu Akwaf. Are you ready? Have you done what it takes? Are you doing what it takes? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and the Elohim are constantly watching. It's no getting around it. You may think because you closed your front door, you closed your bedroom door, the bathroom door, that you're out of eyesight, out of earshot. It's not so, Akim. And it's not so, you few Akwa. We're being watched constantly. Being taken note of. Like they say, duly noted. Well, it's more than being duly noted. You will be held accountable. We all will be held accountable for everything that has taken place here on this earth while we, while we occupy this space. Yahweh by Shem Yahushai paved the way for us. It says so in Psalms 118 and 22. The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach paved the way. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach died on the cross for my sins, for your sins, so that through his blood stained eyes, Yahweh looks at us and we're not counted as filthy rags and we're able to send up prayers unto Yahweh through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Him being the mediator. And Yahweh takes those prayers as a sweet savor unto his nostrils. Think about that, you Akim and you few Akwaf. We have a debt to pay. It's past high time that we do it. Back to the book of Sirach in the 32nd chapter. In the 14th verse, it says, Whoso fear of Yahweh will receive his discipline, and they that seek him early shall find favor. You have to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's the only way to receive his discipline. It says, and they that seek him early shall find favor. 
the time is drawing, Akim, where people are going to want to seek out Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. People are going to want to seek out the prophets for answers to questions that they have because death is at their doorstep. Because martial law troops are kicking in their doors, hitting them with the butt of their gun, knocking their teeth down their throat, dragging their husbands off, dragging their wives off, separating them, dragging their children by the leg and throwing them in vans in the back of trucks, not giving a damn about their well-being, only for their purpose, the wicked. And those answers won't be, those answers won't be met and those cries won't be helped because you refuse to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and receive his discipline. You refuse to seek him early. These words in this Bible aren't there for simple viewing pleasure like you go and watch a movie. That's snot motherfucking popcorn, motherfucking cotton candy, soda waters, juju beans, M&Ms, Skittles. You saying cold cups and popsicles at the, at, the, at the park, swinging on the swing? This ain't, this ain't turkey legs at, at the fair. This ain't popping balloons with darts and win a prize. That's not how this go. This real life. This is serious. And if you're not willing to get your ass in gear, if you're not willing to shape up, you're going to be shipped off and shipped out to, to where? Concentration camps. in various other places. Seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushai while he may be found, Akim, and you few Akwa. Time is of the essence. Esau Edom knows that he has but a little time. And so he's ramping up what he's trying to do, what he's trying to accomplish. Watch, pray. Lean out into your own understanding. Look for the things that fall off. The coming of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. With that, I hope this lesson has been edifying. I hope it was much ex exhortation in this lesson for you Akim and you few Akwaf. And I want to give infinite glory, honor, praises, majesty, might. Power, wisdom, and thanksgiving unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harukakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and blessings to the faithful and hopeful elect across the four winds, preaching this truth in sincerity and in charity to the best of their ability. A ball, ba ball, a quam Yashrala. Shalom, Akim. Shalom to you, few Akwaf.